Hey guys, welcome back to Here We Mow Again. I'm Jeff and this is Billy. Today we have some garden work to do. We're gonna go ahead and check the garden, see how things are going out there. And we're also gonna get ready to put our fall crops in. So let's go ahead and get to work. So as we wind to the end of summer, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of your gardening season. There's early crops and mid-season crops and what I call fall crops or some people call late season crops. And typically a lot of what you plant in the garden is mid-season mid crops and that's your tomatoes and, and sometimes your peppers, although peppers tend to take a little longer, but you know, corn, etc. Most of what is in my garden is a mid-season crop. I do plant some early stuff and some of that was green beans and, and uh, cucumbers, um, although the animals got at those this year. But what I'm gonna be doing today is putting my fall crops out there. Um, there are a bunch of different fall crops fall crops that you can plant, but the ones that I like to put in, so I have my, my green beans that I'm gonna throw in. I have my sugar snap peas. I have some carrots that I'm gonna throw in and some cucumbers. And if I can grab the thing, we have some more summer squash. I already planted some summer squash and I'm gonna plant some more. Now the important thing to remember about fall crops is you have to look at the days to maturity on there. So if it's over 55 or 60 days, then you really shouldn't be putting that in because think about it, you know, here we are, it's the beginning of August, 60 days from now, September, October. So past that, you know, we're gonna be talking about a freeze around here. So we need to make sure that it's under that 50 day window so that we can plant it, it will grow and it will produce before we get a frost. Cause some of these are frost tolerant, um, but some of them are not. You know, if you put something in that it, that's gonna get killed as soon as we get a frost, which in my neck of the woods is usually around, you know, the beginning of October. Um, first weekend in October usually, or second weekend, depends on, depends on the year. This year the weather is, you know, who really knows what's gonna happen, but I always plan for the first, first or second weekend in October for there to be a frost. Um, it could be a little later, but in any event, you need to plan around that. So if anything that you're putting in for a fall crop, you need to make sure that there's adequate time for it to grow and enough time for you to get, get out of the garden what exactly you're trying to plant. So let's go ahead and throw this stuff in the garden. So here's our pumpkin patch. And I think I mentioned this last time, but we're, we've been having some animals come in here and you can see they've actually been chewing on the leaves a little bit. Now, the chicken wire here is a little short. I need to get taller chicken wire for the pumpkin patch. So that's partly my fault, um, but it's still, we're still getting some, some growth in here. Check, check out this guy here. I got an orange pumpkin here that's growing in. It's not very big yet, but maybe with a little, a little more time and some more fertilizer, we'll get some, get a little bigger. And there's another one in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find them. Ah, here's, here's a little guy right here. If you can see that. And oh, there he is back there. Hopefully you can see that through the leaves. But in any event, the pumpkins are doing good. The potatoes are doing doing good. Again, potatoes don't really do too much. They just grow and they'll flower and they'll, they'll drop the flowers. And eventually what you see above the ground will start to die out. And then that will tell you it's time to harvest the pumpkins. Uh, sorry, not the pumpkins, the potatoes. Uh, the corn is doing really well. I mean, look at how tall this is. Some of these are actually taller than me. I'm six foot and some of these are taller than me. And we have some nice ears of corn that are growing. And I'm convinced that it's because of all the fertilizer that my daughter put on this when she when she planted them. I mean, look at this, look at this guy down here. This this is almost ready. I mean you can feel it inside. It's it's growing nice. And check out these tomato plants. I've been starting to get some tomatoes. Um, we got some of the early um, early girl tomatoes that usually bloom, you know, end of July, early August. And the beefsteaks over here, they they take a little bit longer. But I mean look at the size. Look at the size of some of these beefsteaks. They're coming in and I see one that's starting to get a little orange, so it won't be too long until we get those. And of course we have the cherry tomatoes as well. The peppers are doing really well. I actually picked a couple peppers yesterday and we picked some tomatoes too. The dogs love those. They really enjoy eating those. And the green, the green beans and the cucumbers, well, the animals kind of got at that this year. Um, we did get a little bit out of the green beans, but not what I had anticipated. So we're hoping to get a better crop through our, far, our fall harvest. And here's some more potatoes. Again, you know, not too much going on here for the time being um, until later, um, later in the season when they're going to be ready to be picked. 
Billy, what do you have? You have a tomato? From the garden? He loves tomatoes. Good boy, Rosie, you have a tomato? Yeah. I think Billy might have liked the tomato more. So this is the area we're going to put our peas over here. They like to climb fences, so this will actually be really perfect. And over here is where we're going to put the green beans. You'll see there's still some, some vines left from the prior crop of green beans that kind of got eat, eaten away a little bit by the animals. But we're going to go ahead and put that in. And then over here to the left with this tall chicken wire, it's a little messed up right now, um, but I'll, I'll fix it. But that's where we're going to put our cucumbers. So I'm going to use our hoe and we're going to cover these up. Now it just rained here last night and this, this soil stays pretty moist so I'm actually not going to water it. But generally when you first put seeds in you do want to give them a, a light watering. Let's pull that weed out of there. There we go. And you just want to cover this lightly. You don't want to put too much just like when you're planting grass seed. You only want to give it a light covering. Now you do want to check the back of the, the seed label because it will tell you how much to actually cover it, how much soil to put over it. These are all pretty much the same. You just want to, you know, around half inch of soil on it. Not anything more than that or you'll smother it out. So let's get the rest of these covered up. So I'm going to put the summer squash here. This is outside the chicken wire, so I definitely am running the risk of the animals eating it up. But I'm going to take my chances and see what happens. I do have some trellis here that I can put around it once it gets a little bigger. You do want to remember that for squash, it takes plenty of room. So generally you want you know three to four feet at least for the plant to grow because it will spread out. Kind of just like the pumpkins do. You know, pumpkins and squash are in the same family. So I'm not going to plant as many squash as there is pumpkins in this in this patch but you kind of get the idea how it spreads out so let me get these seeds in well we're done planting our fall crops for today and again there are other crops that we can plant I, I may have put in some more green beans in a week or two just so I get a nice supply of them because green beans certainly go nice with just about anything but you know just only plant what you're gonna eat so I think while I'm here I'm gonna gonna plant gonna get some tomatoes I just just picked this one so this is looking really nice this is one of the uh, early tomatoes so the beef steaks are still coming there are a couple that are just about ripe on the vine but we'll wait a little bit longer for those to, to ripen up well guys I hope you found this information helpful and useful and it helps you to plan out your garden and when exactly you want your crops to come up and hopefully you too can grow summer and fall crops and enjoy the, the fruits of your of your garden throughout a longer growing season, which I think is important. And, you know, quite frankly, it's really rewarding. And uh, the food's delicious. <laughs> um, anyways, so I really appreciate you guys coming back for another episode. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more exciting content to come and some, some fun that we're gonna have. And throw your comments down below. Put a comment down below that you subscribed and any comments or, or thoughts that you have. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So with that, I'm Jeff for Here We Mow Again. Billy just took off. Really appreciate you coming back and look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode.